Samsung TU7100. This is the entry level model. It's in a 43 inch. I've got a tape measure because I'm guessing it's going to have two feet. So I'll timestamp in the description where I'm going to measure those. So just get the box opened up. Quick setup guide in the top. I'll have a close up of that. The feet, which we'll get the width for. Instruction book and remote pack. the back of the TV there to move the box out of the way. Okay so back of the TV and to spin it around and that's the front of the TV there. So quite a limited pack. I'll open it up. So just a standard remote there, we'll get a close up of that in a moment. CI card slot reader, figure eight mains lead, approximately 1.5 meters and we can see right angled input there to the TV. Treble A batteries, instruction book. Not even really an instruction book, because I guess it's an e-manual. Standard remote, if I can get it in. Okay, so again, on and off at the top. Source or input button, channel numbers, teletext or whatever, that's dead. Volume up and down, channels up and down, mute, channel list, quick fire, Netflix, Primer and Rakuten, cursor arrows, up, down, left, right, enter, guide. Return and exit, coloured buttons for what they apply to. Play, pause, fast forward and rewind. Did I say guide button? It's there anyway if I didn't. Quick access to the settings so you don't have to press home and go to the cog. Takes you straight there. Audio description, subtitles if anybody uses that or needs it. Click the back open. AAA batteries again for that one. Okay, so quick setup guide here. So you can see, suggest a two-man lift, where the mains plugs in, some of the dimensions there on the diagonals and so on. Okay, so turning over the page there, see it's got a diagram of the sockets, unpacking the TV, two-man lift again, laying on a large flat surface. And then inserting those feet, so no screw, they will just push in, we'll see that in close-up in a moment. I'm using the TV box with the polystyrene back in as my large flat surface, so I'll just unpack these feet. They are labelled R and L, corresponding to the TV there, R and L. So right leg simply just pushes in, he says. Same for the left foot, into there and pushes in. Okay, so we've got some cable guides that come with it as well and they just simply clip onto the back of those legs so you can guide your cables out the sockets and down the feet. Side inputs on the television there. First of all, digital audio optical out. USB out 5 volts, only one USB. Antenna in. Wired internet in. HDMI 2 is EARC, so enhanced audio return channel. HDMI 1 is there, so only two HDMIs, a figure 8 mains input there as well. If I just bring the TV closer, it says. Right, looking at the back of the TV again, just to mention it's a 200mm by 200mm square visa. If it counts for anybody for reference, the bottom hole starts at about 
260 mil from the bottom of the TV. So quite a high up piece of there, but 200 mil square. That's the assembled TV. I'm gonna measure the width of those feet there because that could be quite critical. So 850 mil wide, well, let's say that again, 85 centimeters wide or 33 and a half inches. That's from the widest point of those feet. The depth, about 195 millimeters or just over seven and a half inches. And from whatever it stood on to the bottom of the TV, seven centimeters and or two and three quarter inches. Okay, so that's a closer up shot of it. And the feet, if we can focus on them, yes we can. And from the top down, close up of the back in those connections. The V surmounts and the back there. Okay, I've got my TV connected with aerial mains and internet, so I shall now turn it on. I'm getting close so I don't turn the other TVs on around me. So recognising the aerial connection there. Terrestrial and digital for my input. Recognises the wide internet connection. Okay, so agree to all. Sign in there to download your apps from the App Store or to connect with SmartThings, so I'll skip for now. Put your postcode in there for regional programming. So that's already started tuning in in the background, so while it does that, I'll cut video. Okay, that's now completed its tuning, so primary region for myself is England. Secondary is Yorkshire, that's where my aerial is facing. Again, pick your service provider, mine is Freeview Yorkshire. It tells me there, scan channels, and I've got wide internet next. Link your Prime there, you can do that later, I'll skip for now. And some apps you can add there, I've got Apple Music, BritBox, UK TV Play and BBC Sounds. You can also add them later from the App Store, so I should just say done. Ready to enjoy it. So tap to view using Emma NFC there to link your smart things where you can do your ambient mode, control your TV and so on, use it as a remote control as well. I'll say next and start watching. again. And I wonder whether there is a trust factor that has already disappeared amongst America's allies. There is, and that's a concern that I've heard over the last four years on a number of um, trips that I've taken to reassure some of our vital allies and in a number of meetings I've had in Washington, whether with ambassadors, foreign ministers, foreign secretaries, defense ministers, heads of state, um, all over the world I've heard. From okay, so we're on a poor live feed there. What I am going to do before I go any further is just force a quick software update so it behaves properly. So to do that, down to support software update and update now it will do auto updates when you turn it off at night anyway but to be fair for the video i usually update them first so i will come back in a moment
Okay, so software is all updated and completed, so I'll now continue. So that is just looking at a live feed on TV. It's on a HD Freeview channel. I'll turn it up just so we can hear the sound. ...is a huge emerging health problem. Doctors say there's an urgent need for research into what drives the condition and produces such a wide variety of serious, debilitating symptoms. Many people are struggling to get help with the after effects of coronavirus. The boss of NHS England says £10 million will be spent on setting up more long COVID clinics across England. It's clear that there are tens of thousands, probably hundreds of thousands of coronavirus patients with these long COVID symptoms. So we need specialist clinics like this, but also rehabilitation services across the community to both support those patients and to learn more about the best treatments for them. Like so many with long COVID, Robert Moore had only a minor coronavirus infection, yet the 30-year-old suffers repeated muscle and joint pain brought on by any physical activity. As soon as I do anything, whether that's going for a walk or, you know, preparing something to eat or doing any form of cognitively... Okay, so I'm just going to turn that down. I'm going to check to see if there's a retail demo built in that's in 4K. So far, the focus has been on saving lives in the pandemic, but COVID is leaving a bit of a disease. ...in that situation at the moment. And you have to set that... So short retail demo of that. If I have to, it's calling for Catty. If I've had to mute that, we can blame AdRev for that one. Okay, back to home mode. Okay, so I'm just going to go on to. YouTube there but before that looking at the smart hub if I go all the way to the left we've got the settings cog there so you can see you've got the e-manual and other quick settings there click on it you can go into the full settings input or source button search app store there download more apps Samsung TV plus you can stream content from Samsung at home let's have a look samsung tv plus again live tv which i've got is from a free view input there netflix prime bbc iplayer itv apple tv you've also got your apple tv screen mirroring as well rakuten youtube channel 4 on demand gallery there internet browser i don't know if this has got bluetooth i'll check in one moment my five so now i've said it i'd better check let's just have a quick look at the settings so i can't see any bluetooth settings there oh uh, there we go yeah so we've got bluetooth built in as well so you can have bluetooth speakers you could get a separate smart remote and connect it because this tv does not come with one just close that so also for the internet or web browser you can connect a cheap wireless or cheap bluetooth keyboard and mouse um, but so i'll just load up youtube So this is YouTube football in 4K. I'll just turn it up. Stadium in Singapore. They tour and take on the Italian champions, Juventus. Spurs include the likes of Deli Ali, Jun Min Son, 
And Toby Alderweireld in their starting eleven. Juventus versus Tottenham Hotspur, a fiction many on in his kind of area. Him and Tonka Spurs and can't sneak it in. In terms of form from that moment on. It's a Matrikic's great ball and he directed it to the front corner. And those two work it again. Four on three here for Spurs. Son, well laid off and Pico makes a fine save. He's carried in by Eric Lamella. Troy Powell denied on the first attempt. But Lamella is there to beat Buffon. Spurs have been the better team and on the half hour they lead Juventus. The fans are on the edge of the penalty area. We play on. And uh, Pjanic. Equine, well, well, Equine. Yeah. Right. Still exit that, find something else. Something colourful. Turn to TV. Exit. But let me help you with the difference, Ms. Mm. Ferraro, between okay. So on some old footage there from TV. And on that note, I shall say, see you next time. Good job.